Cynthia Erivo, a powerhouse of talent, wicked, a beloved musical, yet a clash of colours erupts, sparking controversy in the digital age. It's the colour green, but not just any green. It's the specific shade used in fan-made posters and memes of Erivo as Elphaba Bar in the upcoming Wicked film adaptation. This isn't just about a hue, it's about respect, representation, and the responsibility we hold as consumers of art. What happens when artistic expression collides with individual identity? When does a tribute cross the line into misrepresentation? As we delve into the heart of the matter, we're forced to confront uncomfortable truths about how we perceive and portray others, especially within the realm of fandom. Before delving into the controversy, let's revisit the cultural phenomenon that is wicked. Based on Gregory Maguire's novel, Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West, the musical offers a captivating prequel to The Wizard of Oz. We meet Elphaba, a misunderstood girl with emerald green skin who grows up to be the infamous Wicked Witch of the West. The musical, with its soaring melodies and poignant themes of friendship, acceptance and defying expectations, has captivated audiences worldwide. Now, the highly anticipated film adaptation, starring Cynthia Erivo as Elphaba and Ariana Grande as Glinda, has stirred immense excitement and, unfortunately, unexpected contention. Erivo, an Oscar-nominated actress known for her powerful voice and commanding stage presence, took to Instagram to address the altered posters and memes. She expressed her disappointment, stating how these edits, while perhaps well-intentioned, were hurtful and disrespectful. She emphasized the importance of seeing her as she is, in her true skin tone, as Elphaba. Her words resonated deeply with many, sparking a crucial conversation about the power of representation and the insidious nature of microaggressions. Even seemingly subtle alterations, like changing someone's skin tone, can perpetuate harmful stereotypes and undermine the importance of authentic representation. Section 4. Representation matters beyond the Emerald Curtain. Erivo's experience shines a light on the broader issue of representation in media. For marginalized communities, seeing themselves reflected authentically on screen in their full complexity and humanity is not a trivial matter. It's about visibility, validation, and dismantling harmful stereotypes that have long plagued these communities. When we alter someone's appearance, even digitally, we're essentially saying their true selves aren't good enough. We're perpetuating a culture that values a narrow standard of beauty and erases the richness and diversity of human experience. Representation is not about tokenism. It's about celebrating the beauty of difference and fostering a more inclusive and equitable world. Section 5, a cauldron of reactions navigating the online divide. Erivo's statement ignited a firestorm of reactions online. Supportive fans rallied behind her, condemning the altered images and emphasizing the importance of respecting her identity. They echoed her sentiments, emphasizing that true fandom lies in celebrating an artist for who they are, not for who we want them to be. However, there were dissenting voices as well. Some argued that the edits were harmless expressions of creativity, a way for fans to engage with the material. Others claimed that Erivo was being overly sensitive, dismissing the edits as insignificant. This divide highlights the complexities of navigating fandom in the digital age and the importance of critical thinking. Section 6, Respect, Representation and the Responsibility of Fandom. The controversy surrounding the altered wicked posters transcends the realm of fandom. It's a microcosm of the larger societal issues we face. It compels us to confront our own biases, to examine how we engage with art and artists, and to recognize the power of representation. Fandom can be a powerful force for good, fostering community and celebrating shared passions. However, it's crucial to remember that our actions, even in the online sphere, have real-world consequences. Let's strive to be conscious consumers of media, to engage with art thoughtfully and respectfully, and to champion authentic representation in all its forms. After all, a world where everyone feels seen and valued is a world worth striving for.